Hello. And it's really scary here. Welcome to Create Your Own Paradise. We are a world schooling family of four traveling through Europe. Our dream is to create our own world schooling hub. But first, we have put the travels on hold and are going to create our little paradise here in this beautiful community called Malama. This is the moment we all been waiting for. The big question soon will be answered. Is the water gonna flow down? I think we already see the answer. And there it comes. And yeah, from here it will flow into the underground drainage pipe, which you already saw. Flashback. of cane. Uh, the Latin name is Arundo Donax. Uh, it grows really fast and uh, grows everywhere here. Uh, only not here on this plot so <laughs> we have to get um, have to get out to get it. But we succeeded this time. Yeah it is a bit weird you know ever people here really see it as a weed so it just grows everywhere and they really don't mind if you cut it but still it's always a bit tricky. So yeah, I just drove around and I saw a garden where it grew and then I asked the guy can I cut some and then he pointed me to a little field behind his house he said there you can cut it and then I'm like okay this I can do. Hello Jasper! Hello Mama! Hello Paul! <laughs> okay. Hello Paul! Hey! Let's get out. Yes. Today my job is uh, debarking the eucalyptus. Uh, we got lucky, we found it yesterday. And um, we use it for our natural wall that we are going to build here to hide the caravan and um, to make it look nicer. And also give it some sun protection for give the evening sun. Sun protection. It'll be less hot. To last longer as our lovely house. And um, then, uh, oh. I wish you could smell what we smell here because these eucalyptus, when you take the uh, bark off, it's like full of these uh, oils, essential oils. And it's like working in a spa. <laughs> We already came a long way with our uh, cane uh, sunshade um, and visual protection, visual barrier. I really love it. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but uh, this, yeah, this bamboo cane immediately gives some sort of holiday tropical island feeling. You get like a bamboo hot feeling. That's what I really love about it. And and totally the that we now have a. Second spot for put our things! Yeah. A hiding spot! 
Yeah, so it will be under the roof if we put the crates here. But yeah, of course, when there's wind and uh, we'll still get wet. But now, most of the wind will just be blocked by the cane. Um, so what's the trick? Well, the trick is actually not to use that many screws, but yeah, it depends a little bit how these um, eucalyptus are, if they're straight enough and how these are. But in the perfect world, you don't need screws. You just do it like this. You put them in and then they will hold by itself. How beautiful is that? Unfortunately, we're not living in a perfect world. We do have to... Yeah fix things. And sometimes we're just a bit too quick and then we just do bam 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 and then we're later oh but uh, then we use a couple of screws and then we'll hold also but in the perfect world this is how you do it you just weave it in squeeze it and it will hold by itself and then of course here and there you can put a couple of screws that it doesn't when the wind comes that it doesn't um, sag down. Our lovely sunshade for the caravan. Top. <laughs> They're almost all. Okay. <laughs> and it's done! Our lovely shade for the caravan from Kane. It took us quite a while to collect all of these, but I think it's worth it. And I love it. I think approximately 200. Uh, that we stuck each other in and screwed. And do you want to see how it looks in the back? Yeah, you can't see the caravan anymore. So as you've seen in one of our other movies um, where we moved the caravan this way, uh, we had this crate system. It was our walking closet uh, for the last couple of years for the traveling and floop, floop, floop. Now it's our storage. Super handy again. We can really like have the really nice system with the towels, cleaning stuff, food, playing, crafting. And it's so nice and shady. So the sun with the food and everything will not um, um, kill it and ruin. And you can really also the fruits and veggies uh, leave them here because before, yeah, where you leave the food? This is always the question when living off grid and not having a lot of storage room. This is um, a very important element in this whole construction. Uh, yeah, it's just a piece of uh, flexible uh, rubber plastic thingy. And yeah, we're gonna screw this on first before we put uh, the glass panes on. And then, um, yeah, this will hold it. And then we glue it over the whole uh, piece of wood as well. But this will just hold it so it keeps in place. Yes, the big reveal. What's underneath? Ooh, yes. Okay. Oh, oh it's so fragile. Uh, still intact, yes. Yeah. Next is normal. So 
Thanks a lot, Jesse. <laughs> Great help. Well, there are on, and uh, I think I got uh, like five years older today. It's really nerve-wracking. The, these uh, class paints are more than 100 euros each. So every time you lift them, you're like, ooh, no. And uh, it's not like it's really like an easy way to walk here, but they're on, so that's really cool. Yes, okay, um, one little disclaimer, we're not window fitters, so there's probably a hundred million ways to do it easier, better, but uh, this is our way and um, it's probably a cheap way as well. So, um, yeah, we just glued them on, they are being held by this little piece of rubber. Now, next steps are that we're gonna seal them here with a silicon glue, so we're gonna uh, close all the little edges. Then we also put a little bit of silicon on top. So if the water runs this way, it's blocked. And, uh, and then, yeah, of course, we want to protect this. So we made these little planks. And yeah, this will be a bit exciting again, you know, because we're gonna screw through the plank and try not to screw through the window because it's not really a great combination, screwing through windows. You'll be the witness of what's gonna happen. Are we gonna nail it or are we gonna fail it? How does it feel? It feels amazing to finally see the window sleep. Yes, we're getting there. It's really working. Although it looks really messy. <laughs> and it's really scary here to not uh, break the glass. And I think like, who's going to clean these windows later? <laughs> Was it really a good idea <laughs> to put these massive windows in? So the windows are finished. Yeah, it's a really different feeling now. It feels a little bit like a, like a room now. Um, yeah, I want to share how we got in, how we got to this design here and why we even wanted windows. Well, when we designed the roof, then we found out yeah we couldn't really uh, put like posts here because here's the mountain. So yeah, we had to put them a little bit further back. So then the roof became a little bit bigger because yeah, we also needed a walkway here because it, on the other side there's no room. And then we thought, yeah, if we totally close it, then it might be so dark and damp in winter that it's not really comfortable to be here anymore. And then I discovered this little app, it's called the SunPath app. And when you look at it, then you see that that's the south there. So the winter sunset in the south um, on the lowest point is exactly there so the fun thing is that yeah on this uh, 30 um, 23rd of December when the 
sun is at this lowest point. Then we'll see the sunset there and we still have a little bit of sun at the caravan. And uh, yeah, that's really great. So it also it will follow the path that's higher. There we have the sun. Then here we also have the summer or the winter sun. So then the whole place gets a little bit heated up. And I think that's quite nice because otherwise, yeah, it will be really dark and damp. And um, in, at this time, when it's yeah, mid-May, so now the sun is quite high, uh, there's a roof there and it's, it's not hitting the caravan anymore. So that's the, the logical, the logics behind the roof. Okay! Thanks everyone! That's it for this week. And roof! Yay! I wonder what happens when it rains, if everything works out with the, with the sink and the wood and the glass. But we'll see that when it rains. When it rains. When it, it rains? Oh, what's that? Rain? Ooh, it dribbled. Next week will be really special. Then we'll put up the deck. See you next week.